Hi guys, uh, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I explain how ArrayList works internally. I explain this concept using an example and I will go through the source code of ArrayList and explain uh, how internally works. Before go ahead with the uh, in detail about the ArrayList, let us talk about uh, what are the characteristics of ArrayList. ArrayList is global arrays. It it uh, grow. It can dynamically uh, growing its size. Next one is it is going to maintain the insertion order, and third one is it is going to allow the duplicates, and fourth one is it is index based. These are the four characteristics of ArrayList. Whenever we are declaring a constructor for while uh, defining a constructor or while preparing in a list this is the general uh, uses of uh, creating an array list object that is list list one equal to new array list when we are defining a array list by default the capacity initial capacity is going to be 10 that means this list can accommodate with 10 elements if you don't define any uh, if you don't define any uh, initial capacity for the array list by default is 10 and another another way you can define the array list is by passing the initial capacity if you see the different uh, um, uh, overloaded constructors for the array list class is empty const uh, empty is a list is equal to new array list and second one is it is going to take the collection also i come this point later and third one is array list it is going to take the initial capacity so when you define a uh, array list with the uh, initial capacity by default the size of the initial cap uh, that means whatever the initial capacity you define that uh, those many uh, objects it can, it can accommodate and third impl third uh, implementation of or the third uh, overloaded constructor for this uh, realist is it can take the collection as an input if you see collection C so it can take a collection as an input but it is just to show the demo I am just giving a null so that you can understand the concept but ideally we need to prepare a collection and then we need to pass here but uh, the 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 point here is it can take the collection also as a one uh, input argument while preparing a uh, while uh, declaring the array list now let us understand internally how these uh, implementations are uh, coded in the array list class the first one is array list with the empty implementation by default what is happening if you don't define any initial capacity by default the initial capacity it is going to uh, it is going to maintain is 10 so initial capacity is less than 0 then it will throw that uh, illegal argument exception otherwise for the default one we are uh, uh, array list maintains the initial capacity at 10 but if you pass the initial capacity then the uh, whatever the initial capacity you uh, passed with that it the array list is going to be uh, created with those many object it can accommodate okay and next one is as we know the uh, array lists are global arrays array lists array lists are global arrays how it is become global now i explain with uh, the con uh, method is in order to make sure that the order uh, the 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 size of an array is our uh, array list is always going to be global on what basis it is going to be maintained right the coded here whenever you define an capacity initial capacity okay then what will happen let us consider you define a initial capacity of 10 now 11th element you are trying to add first what it will check is element data dot length for example you already added 10 elements so it is going to be 10 
okay now it is going to check minimum capacity for example now minimum capacity is nothing but whenever you add an element otherwise I explain this one while adding the method that will be easy to understand for example I hope uh, this concept is clear when you are defining an empty uh, uh, with uh, uh, array list by default it is maintain the initial capacity 10 if you pass uh, initial capacity then how those many uh, objects which can accommodate and next one is the collection so I will explain this one also collection so whenever you define a collection what happens it is going to identify what is the what is the, it is going to convert that one to the um, uh, array list and it is going to define what is the length of it with that size the array uh, the array list is going to be prepared and next one uh, frequent operation we are going to use is while adding an element to the list while adding the element what the uh, internally uh, internally how it works is go to the uh, this is the add method it is going to take the element as an input parameter when you add an element first it is going to get the size of an current size of an uh, array list and then it will increment one because it is we are adding to the new element so definitely they should uh, we have to increment the size this is the method I am talking about ensure capacity this is this is the concept of growing the size automatically in the array list now let us consider I have a 10 elements now 11th element I am trying to add but initial capacity let us consider as a 10 now initial minimum capacity becomes 11 and old capacity becomes 10 now 11 greater than 10 true so it is come to inside and it is preparing the object array and then it is going to redefine or it is it is defining the new capacity how it is defining the new capacities it is the expression of old capacity multiplied by 3 hold multiplied by 2 plus 1 in our case what will happen old capacity is let us consider 10 that uh, 10 star 3 30 30 by 2 15 plus 1 now the new capacity becomes 16 okay now new capacity 16 is less than minimum capacity is 11 16 less than 11 it is false so it come here and it is trying to uh, uh, this data is going to be copied to the array with this uh, array list okay what it will do is for that element it is simply adding to it that is what it means okay now now if I go to the um, uh, world method what it is doing is now it is incrementing the data to the size and then we are adding this uh, new element to this position in previous scenario what happened it got re re it, it is just it just uh, growing the array size and uh, the, with the new capacity it, the array list is going to be prepared and now here with uh, 11 uh, whatever the position we are specifying here it is simply adding that element and another uh, way you can add is ba based on the index you can pass as an index and from the index you can add an element if you pass the index the another implementation is it is going to take the index and we can add the element at that index first before adding uh, whenever you pass the index first it will check whether that index is within the uh, boundary of the array list or not that means within the size of the array list or not so first it is going to check the range check for the add first it is going to check index is greater than size or index is less than size if these two scenario then it is going to throw that index out of bound exception because if you want to do at the index on index based it must be within the range of the array list or the array size if s that means whatever the index we are passing it meets the it 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 must be between the 
0 to the size of an array list then it is again checking for ensure capacity which previously checked if it is not uh, within the uh, if it is not uh, having space then the um, again it is going to re uh, it is going to uh, increase the size and at this point it is going to add this element and next implement uh, next uh, frequent up uh, frequently used operation is sometimes even you can add a collection to the uh, list whenever you add a collection uh, to the uh, array list what happens is it is simply adding the whatever the collection you passed that it needs it is going to add it at the end of the um, uh, end of the array list and also uh, the same steps whenever you do add it always make sure that it has a uh, ensure capacity and once you got the um, capacity then uh, it is going to uh, resize the uh, resize the uh, array list and then it is going to add these elements to the uh, array, array list that means it is it is going to append at the end of the list that is how it works and we're coming to the remove so remove also similar way when you uh, remove also having different uh, implement uh, different ways you can do first one is based on the index you can remove the element from the array list so if you go to the uh, remove method of the uh, source code where it is going to take the index first it is going to check whether the index is within the bounds to the array list like uh, zero to the size if not it is going to throw the uh, array index out of bound exception if if it is uh, within the uh, within the uh, boundary then it is going to get the element from the uh, whatever the index and then it is needs to uh, reorganize the array list that is how it is happening here okay and also whenever you remove right the position wherever uh, in it is also uses the index uh, concept so once you uh, remove an element from the middle then a reshuffling happening from the that element to the till last element and last element will become now uh, uh, that means last element will be unused so that is the reason we are decreasing the size and that element now we it is going to become the uh, null okay so this is if you are uh, removing uh, based on the index and also we have another L, uh, another concept is removing uh, based on the uh, value or whatever the value or the object we can pass so this is a little bit tricky because index is the only single position it can go and remove but in the case of uh, remove uh, if we pass an object the the trick is as array list can uh, have uh, can allow the duplicates that means with the same object or same value we ca we can find multiple um, occurrences uh, in the list so that is the reason while removing an uh, array uh, while removing an uh, ob while removing an objects from the array list we will make sure we are going to uh, iterate this one uh, with an uh, for loop in this case in this case we are having object in the case of if it is null whatever the object we are removing is null then for each it is going to uh, iterate through the loop for loop and it is going to get what are the elements having a null value and it is trying to remove so fast remove is nothing but it is simply removing the uh, element here okay and that is the one way and another one is if it is not null for example object is not null again it is going to compare using the equals method so object whatever the object we are passing it is going to compare uh, com equals with the uh, data uh, with uh, data of the uh, array list uh, array list with that index and then it will remove that element okay so this is how uh, it works inter uh, it is works internally 
and when even we can uh, go and go ahead and even you can uh, remove a collection element uh, collection elements also if it is collection element it first um, uh, remove all collection we can pass and in the case of collection it needs to be iterated through the all the collection elements and if it is finds then it is going to remove so these are the basic operations we are performing on the array list and uh, this is how internally works and hope this concept is clear if you have any questions comment on my youtube video thanks for watching